Welcome back, boys and girls. It's me, Pastor Edwards. We're here for day three of Spirit Camp, and we have a very sleepy Sydney, the sloth. There you go. Well, Sydney, we're going to hear about today Jesus calling his disciples to follow after him. It doesn't mean lay down and take a nap, Sydney. Well, let's read how Jesus meets these first people that he calls to follow after him and how their lives are changed forever. From Matthew chapter 4. Jesus walked by the Sea of Galilee. He saw two brothers. He saw Simon Peter and Andrew his brother. They were casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. He said to them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. They left their nets. They followed Jesus. Going on from there, Jesus saw two other brothers. He saw James and John. They were in a boat with their father. Jesus called them. Right away, they left the boat and their father. They followed Jesus. Once the crowd was pressing in on Jesus, they wanted to hear the word of God. Jesus was standing by the lake. He saw two boats there. He got into one of the boats, which was Simon's, and he asked Simon to go out a little far from, further from land. Jesus sat down and taught the people from the boat. Later, Jesus said to Simon, Put the boat into the deep water. Let down your nets for a catch. And Simon said, Master, we worked all night. We caught nothing. But at your word, I will let down the nets. When they had done this, they caught a large number of fish. They filled two boats they began to sink. But when Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees. He said, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. For he and all who were with him were astonished at the catch of fish that they had taken. Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on you will be catching men. And when they brought their boats to land, they left everything. They followed Jesus. Well, Sydney, what are you doing up there? Oh, I get it. You're following where I go by hanging on. Well, that's pretty clever. You know, boys and girls, um, when Jesus went and talked to the, uh, the brothers and, and others about following him, you heard that they did something right away. They left what they were doing, and they clung to Jesus in faith and followed after him. The men were fishermen that we read about, but not all of the disciples were fishermen. But when Jesus gave the, uh, called them to follow after him, in faith they did, he gave them another job. Do you remember what that was? What, what Sydney? Ah, to be fishers of men. Okay. Well, that's kind of strange, isn't it? Were they supposed to use their nets to catch people? Oh, no. Okay, good. Sydney knows that, too. No, they weren't going to use their nets to catch people. They were going to speak God's word to them. They were going to care for them. They were going to talk about the commandments, for sure, and the directions that God gave. They're always going to talk about Jesus, and the life that he lived, the sacrifice that he made for each and every one of us. So, boys and girls... Pray that you, too, would follow after Jesus and that you would hear his voice, not just from your pastors, but from your moms and your dads and from aunts and uncles and from other people who talk about Jesus and who have followed after him in faith. We pray. Thank you, Jesus, for sending pastors and church workers and moms and dads and other people who follow after you to tell others about your love and forgiveness. Help me to share your love with others too. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God's peace.